Welcome to Daddy Jack's Go With The Blues. So I'm gonna show you economically. Kids love mac and cheese, uh, especially hot dogs mac and cheese. So I'm gonna show you quick how to make a quick uh, cheese sauce. Um, you know, economical. Now I don't normally do this, but we're gonna stretch it out. Um, the recipe I'm gonna use is going to, uh, I'll show you as we get along. melt your butter so you know you can make it a lot cheaper than you probably even do it with Kraft mac and cheese but I eat a lot of that you know plenty of that you know over the years but still I'm not slamming it but here's nothing can't be homemade so we're making a roux so butter butter and flour there's enough flour to absorb uh, the butter. I like to cook it a little bit, you know, to uh, work out. You work out all the, uh, the the rawness of the flour when you cook your roux. You can even add a little bit more flour, but that's that's good right there. And um, I use um. You know, stretch me so you're not using a you know crazy amount of cream. Okay, look at look at this how it browns up. Hello. Hey B. See how it browns up? Let me look at it. Okay. And then gonna add a little bit of uh, a little bit of chicken stock. Work out the lumps. Okay. That's my base of it. Then I have, you know, I have a lot of cream left over, so add in the cream. Okay. Then I'm going to add in uh, the Parmesan. And um, you know, you got Velveeta. My mom used to always use Velveeta. But you have a three cheese blend provolone, white cheddar, and mozzarella. Really, whatever, whatever cheese you have. Nice and ooey and gooey. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, I did taste it just to see what it needed. Of course, we didn't add any salt and pepper. White pepper, if you have it, you know, handy is best. I always like to use a little bit of nutmeg. Well, you're gonna have to use a little bit. <laughs> Not much in there. Like I said, we're using it up. Uh, you know, could also use a little bit of a, you know, that mozzarella, you know, usually at home you're going to use a cheddar, because it's still got a little stringiness to it. I'm going to use uh, all we can with the, uh, the Parmigiani. So I'll show you how we're going to finish this off here. We have our Soggy's Hot Dogs. B, you want me to leave you one of these Soggy's? You like hot dogs? I do like hot dogs. These are the best out of Rhode Island. Yeah? Yeah. They all beef? I don't know what they are. Probably all uh, snouts and uh, <laughs> lips. Yeah, I love hot dogs. But really, you don't, you don't find them outside of Rhode Island. My sister Holly brought them down. Or yeah, we just leave you a mac and cheese with hot dogs. Me? Yeah, I'll 
I'll just take that. Okay. Right? She's behind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Left you a little rasta pasta there earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Came out I just pretty get good. The dough going. All right. So um, so we're gonna use because we're gonna have a lot of we're gonna have a lot of. Uh, Okay, so just a little bit of butter. Put a little color on this hot dogs. We'll get this browning up real good and we'll be right back. Here we go. Just got a little bit of, you know, fat came off that, so I'll thin that out a little bit. left over for tonight. Some of the kiddies will offer it up. And some of the adults too probably gonna order some. Top two is some uh, crushed Ritz crackers. And we're going to 
put one up under the broiler. Cheese melter in the oven if you want, bake it in the oven. We'll, we'll be right back. Oh yeah. You know, kids, they like it better with Ritz, but I gotta take a taste. My mom really never did this, but I've seen other families do it. I liked it. Mm. Be careful, uh, not you know. Be careful with the salt when you add this, because the hot dogs are pretty salty. You know when you put them in a sauce. Nice cheap meal. Make a big batch of it. Portion it out where your kids can grab it instead of going for junk. Out of the refrigerator, they can portion it out in little dishes. Let it cool down and saran wrap it. Keep it in your fridge. They can microwave it. And you know, quick, you know, filling cheap. I mean, this whole thing could probably cost uh, 25, 30 cents, I would think. Something like that, maybe a little bit more. Um, you know, with the cream we use. I mean, don't forget, we made we made the bechamel sauce. So you got all that left over for Alfredo. You want to make and mix it in your lasagna? That's a classic mother sauce right there, bechamel. But with the chicken, the little chicken stock it becomes a uh, thickened chicken stock is a velouté, which is a mother sauce also. And, uh, but the velouté, once we add the cream, becomes a bechamel. So, uh, you know, you put that, uh, that to use, you got, you got a dinner already, and now uh, you got ingredients for another dish. But it's Daddy Jack's going with the blues. Uh, Lakeisha Lee on, on, uh, on camera, video, resident videographer, Glenn is in, uh, we're kind of, like I said, distancing with Miss Glenn and Paula, Orsini. You want some sausage? You know, they got a good stock of sausage, uh, and uh, they can ship it to you. Or CineSausage.com. They should start making those hot dogs because uh, uh, the rest of the sausage is great. Probably the hot dogs would be great. Um, you know, we have. Uh, if you want to become a member of uh, Cooking with the Blues, uh, go to Patreon. P A T R E O N slash forward slash uh, dot com. Is it, is it Patreon dot slash? Patreon.com. Patreon.com. Patreon.com slash yep. Cooking with the Blues. Mm -hmm. And they'll take you to our Patreon page. Uh, please share these videos on your social media. Uh, try to help us spread the word. Um, we'll continue to stay open here. Uh, be in the house doing some takeout pizzas. And Justin's here uh, answering the phones. Um, we're not we're not greedy. We're just needy a little bit. Um, if you want to you want to uh, call in an order in, and you want to make a donation, give us a call down here, 860-444-8888. Uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, we're, we're we're making the best out of each day because tomorrow is not a guarantee. And uh, we appreciate everybody following us, uh, all our friends on YouTube and other social medias. Peace. Oh yeah, one more for the road.